Hey there, I'm Jess Bud from Marketing O'Clock and welcome to today's marketing tutorial where we are going to do a short and sweet one on how to customize your navigation in Microsoft advertising. That may sound like a what? I I can do that? A, yes you can. And I think a lot of folks don't know that because when I logged into Microsoft Ads today, I got a little notification bubble reminding me that this is a feature. They redesigned their interface a couple months ago and moved a lot of things around, kind of stripped things down, changed it. Looks a lot more like the new Google Ads interface too. But there is that really cool feature where you can pin things to the navigation, that left-hand sidebar in your accounts interface. So if you didn't know about that, congratulations on this new information. It may just save your life. So I'm used to the old way of going to find my scripts up in the upper navigation, which is no longer here in the new interface. So I need it. I want it. I'm going to want to access it often. So how am I going to find it? I'm just going to click into tools here over on the left hand side. You can see you have a lot of options. And just right here, just to show you, this is where anything that you want to appear on that sidebar, you can click on the little pin icon. Say you use audiences a lot. You could pin that baby and look at it. it popped right up over there on the side. And then if I decide I don't need that in the future, I can just unpin it and it goes away. But we were talking about scripts. Where the heck are they? I could scroll through all of this if I want, but I'm just gonna use this handy dandy search feature and look for scripts. All right, those are under bulk actions. So I'm gonna pin that, fantastic. She's over there now. I'm gonna close this out. And then the next time I come in here to set up a script or edit one, anything that I wanna do, I can just very easily now in my left-hand navigation, hover over bulk actions and get right to scripts and pop on in. And that is so easy. You can do the same thing with anything in this tools menu. So if you are big on audiences, bids and budgets, ad preview, website exclusions. There's some admin stuff in here for billing. Anything, again, in that tools menu that can be difficult to find but you use often is pinnable over here. So really simple tip today, but I hope it saves your life. It's definitely saved mine. Um, and you can unpin some of the default stuff too. I don't know why you would ever do this, but you could unpin conversions if you wanted to. Don't be one of those people. Have access to your conversions. Check them often. They're important. But you can unpin things too that are there by default. Some of them, some of them you can't. But again, really nice. I appreciate the fact that Microsoft decided to make this a little bit more of a customizable experience given that it is more streamlined. You can clean it up if you want. You could put a million things over there, whatever works for you. It's just nice to have. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, head on over to the Marketing O'Clock YouTube channel to subscribe. We have digital marketing news every week as well as more tutorials with tips and tricks and other insights into Microsoft ads, Google ads, and more.